Good morning. So today is going to be a productive day. I just woke up. I'm gonna actually get myself some coffee. I like to add a lot of creamer. Um, and then we're going to get the day started. So hey you guys so i just arrived at home goods i wanted to go to home goods because i wanted to pick up maybe a couple pieces i need something for my dining room and something for my living room i'm looking for maybe like an art piece and also like maybe like a fake um, flower or something to put in my dining table so let's go on and get started with home goods and i'll see you guys inside you know what i do see this flower or what what are they called this is actually nice but i think it looks a little bit fake to me but i'm looking something like this for my dining room for my dining room console but let's just keep looking mm -hmm. this is cute mm -hmm. oh look at this this is great for outdoors you guys really really cute wow oh, you guys this is so cute this is actually really cute for your dog you can put it outside i think this is adorable if you have a small pet totally totally will buy this for outdoors so cute look what i found this is actually really nice they have a gold and they have a black one there for 24.99 this is perfect I think I want to take this one. This will be really nice in the living room. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This is like the prettiest thing I've ever seen so far. Oh my god, this is so pretty for our girl's bedroom. Oh, MG. I totally want to take this, but I don't have any kids, so. Alright, these are other pieces that I see. Really pretty. Okay. other stuff they have Marilyn Monroe I don't see anything that I really like okay let's keep looking look at this you guys this is actually pretty pretty it's for 249 because it's chocolate inspired not bad okay we're in the pillow section I don't need any pillows but these are really cute and fluffy. Um, I see a lot of like full decor pieces also coming up. Um, let me look at this. Uh, these are really pretty. This is pretty. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The one thing that really sucks when you go to home goods sometimes you find a piece that you really like and then um, there's only one piece and you always want to wrap two pieces because it just looks a lot better when you find two. I was in a lot of stuff that I really wanted to buy from this home goods. Always have really awesome pieces at home goods, you guys. Totally recommend if you are shopping for like home decor, uh, things like that. Um where I live closer to me, the home goods there is a lot better. The uh, items I feel like are a lot unique, I feel. So, yeah, I wish I would have gone there, but unfortunately it just wasn't uh the right time it's probably not gonna interest any of you guys um the only thing that i did buy was this um item here called grip and store so hopefully hopefully it does the job we have arrived at tj maxx are right, you guys I'm like a dumbass i'm like walking without my mask totally forgot so i'm gonna go get it okay, so here are a lot of the Laura mercier products i found the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra longer foundation and the primer here for 9.99 and also there is the laura mercier baked powder um i think i'm gonna take this one this one's in butterscotch seems to be kind of my color it's for 12.99 and this other one is the primer which i already have they have also the flawless skin glow mask for 12.99 and let's see what else they have we have other foundations too here in linen dune ecru and cashew beach pretty pretty cool um here is a sephora dimensional highlighting palette and warm for 5.99 and i also found the love rock unzip desert sunset for 14.99 there's 
also a couple other palettes here. This is the Laura Morero Beauty Hall Volume 2 from Ciate London. And then also this kit, Flawless Foundation Fundamentals from Laura Geller for $9.99. Here are a lot of the Pretty Rich palettes, which are pretty interesting. I've never seen so many of these. Found this of cute Real Techniques by Sam and Nick brush cleansing. Um, never tried this before either, so I don't know. It's for four ninety nine. It's not bad. There's a whole bunch of them as well. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. So I think it even comes with with a brush cleansing gel as well. And then there's another kit from Real Techniques called Rebel Edge Trio, and this is for sixteen ninety nine. You can see there the brushes are actually really nice for contouring i see over here a low rock lips and lashes collection this is for eight dollars um eight dollars which is not bad it comes with a mascara and a lippy called a ruby so back into the micro section over here i couldn't actually come on this side because somebody was actually putting the stuff away but oh look there's a lot of morphe stuff over here um, the Deep Smoky Morphe Eyeshadow Palette for $3.99 The Morphe Brontour And these are the shades I think I showed you guys this the last time It's for $6.99 And a couple other like Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer Ooh, let me see what shade this is Oh, this is definitely not my color It's for $6.99 I wish I had another color because I definitely want to try a concealer from them And what is this? This is the Laura Mercier Long Wear Lip Liner what she rosewood oh that's really pretty i think i want to take this one it's for 5.99 i'm going to take one that's not open yeah this one's nice it's really pretty i have a becca ultimate coverage long wear concealer as well for 5.99 oh, 2d fruity highlighting drops and sparkling pink grapefruit for 7.99 not bad oh look anastasia beverly hills a loose pigment oh i've never seen this before what's this for for 5.99 oh look they even have the Revlon airbrush effect photo ready this was used to be one of my favorite foundations which i totally recommend okay they have the stila all fired up glittery eyeshadows this is nice Oh, okay, there's more Laura Mercier's here. These are matte eye colors in the shade Cashmere for $5.99. Really quickly, I wanted to show you. This is actually a loose pigment that you can use as eyeshadows for your eyes. You can use it for your face, for your body. This is the skincare section. I do see the Clinique Moist Research, which I haven't seen before. This one's like this, and it's going for $14.99, which is awesome because this is just my favorite this is really great for under eye it just brightens it up a little bit so i'm definitely going to take that we also have the clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly this is for 16.99 which is not bad it's totally not bad well look you guys i have the peter thomas hungarian thermal water mask which i talked to you guys about before it's for $30 over here. This is a Clinique Moisture Search Hydrating Supercharged. I think this is a cream or a moisturizer. Going for $27.99. Oh, and I love these Invisibobbles. These are so great, you guys, because it prevents breakage for your hair. Totally recommend. So I found um, a Stila kit, the fourth dimension. And this one is going for $19.99. Um, I also found some cover drops, uh, but these are really pretty, pretty colors. These are eyeshadow glitters, and I also found this Galaxy Sheet by BH Cosmetics. It's an 18 color baked eyeshadow palette, and it's for $8.99. Um, some Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. This is going for $4.99, or actually $3.99. And then the Stila Eyes Are the Window palette. Um, this one doesn't have a price by the way i did find these two palettes which is from Cara beauty i do not know um these palettes but they're at 5.99 each which is really affordable and it's pretty heavy the palettes i don't know if it's, this is an indie indie brand but 
for 5 dollars is not bad. So I'm gonna take it. I swear, like I tried every beauty blender and nothing can compare to the original beauty blender, to be honest. I wanna show you guys this really cute flat from Aldo, but it's a six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. I don't know. I don't think it fits me. It's a little bit loose on the back. Cute. And this other one over here is by Mark Fisher. It's a five and a half. And really cute because it has the studs in the back there, which is really nice. I'm gonna try this on, see how it looks and it fits. I'm usually a size six, but a five and a half might not, might actually fit me. So let's see. <gasps> Look at these shoes, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh my God. And it definitely fits me. I think it's really cute. It definitely elongates your legs. And okay, I'm definitely gonna take this. This will look so nice with jeans, with a dress. I think it's really, really cute. That is how it looks like. I love, 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 love the studs. Really pretty. And it looks really good if you have a tan as well. OMG. Pretty good find. So I'm in the line right now, just waiting. And I'm just looking at a couple of things here. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. Okay, so I got all the stuff from TJ Maxx, you guys. I wasn't expecting to get as much of the things that I got because honestly, I thought I was going to go in there and just come out with one or two things. But... I couldn't help myself. I had to go buy a whole bunch of stuff. So. so the first things that I did end up getting at TJ Maxx were these shoes. I love them. They look so cute. They're pointed toes and they look like the Valentino shoes. Um, I don't know if you guys know that brand, but they're very, very expensive. These are by Mark Fisher. They were five and a half. Really surprised they actually fit my foot because I'm usually a size six. I try walking with them in the store and they really were very very comfortable so um i've seen a couple of these on different sizes so if you do end up getting them um you can wear them with jeans you can wear wear them with a maxi dress a dress like if you're not that type to wear a lot of heels these are definitely nice because they're pointy as well and they're definitely gonna elongate your legs if you are short or petite like me and these were also only $39.99 compared to $65 so you're getting about half off for for these shoes so so the next thing that i got were these sunglasses from bcbg um these were for ten dollars and i got them because they actually fit my face frame pretty well as well and i love when i actually can see my eyebrows i also ended up getting the shirt that i showed you guys in the video the philosophy shirt i thought this was kind of cute these were for originally 58 dollars and i got them for 12.99 which is a steal these are really cute they feel really nice too it's like a cottony type of feel i wasn't able to actually try them out in the store but they're a little bit loose which is great um, because you can eat as much as you want first of all and also because you can tuck it in your jeans you can wear it as a dress if you want put a little belt if you're petite like me you can do that with shirts um but this is really 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 cute so um and it's in a size small i also like that the sleeves also have that kind of like folded type of look to them which is I think really pretty okay so now we're gonna go into the makeup because I did buy a lot of stuff um, from the makeup aisle um, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is these two palettes that I ended up getting first of all these are so freaking heavy like I feel like they weigh about four pounds altogether this reminds me of like the summer um, for sure and I think Cara Beauty is an indie brand if I'm not mistaken um, but oh my god look at these colors you guys um, so I'm definitely can't wait to do a makeup tutorial you can see there's some shimmery eyeshadows as well as matte um, it has this film on top of it which also covers a whole palette but I can't wait to try this you guys I cannot wait to try this and these are really pretty shades this is also $5.99 and just imagine me doing so many makeup looks with these palettes love 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 the colors definitely for sure a summer palette so i also did get the stila one step primer which is for 12.99 these are really really nice i own stila primers i think they're pretty good the other one i got were from laura mercier i got the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation 
which I think I have this, but I'm not sure. I think the one I have at home, no, I don't. I actually do not have this because I thought I did. This one is in the shade Butterscotch, and I think this shade actually does fit me. The uh, cover of this is like almost like a zebra type of print. Along with that, I also got the, the Laura Mercier Ultra Longwear Concealer, which is in the shade, what shade is this? 2.5, I don't know. It might actually fit me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if this turns out pretty good. The other thing I got was the Clinique Moisture Search. I've been wanting to get this, but um, I didn't want to pay full price for it. So this usually goes for about $30 to $40. And this is really good for under the eye. It makes your eyes a little bit more hydrated. You can definitely put this underneath your foundation. You can put it on uh, whenever you're wearing makeup or before you go to bed. If you feel your eyes are a little bit dry, which happens to me sometimes as well. Like my eyes can get a little bit dry. So definitely love the moisture surge. And the last thing I did get you guys were these what are, what are these called these uh, scrunchies i believe yeah um these are actually really cute because they come in different prints uh, they have a black a leopard a polka dot and this other one so that is pretty much what i got at tj Maxx. okay so i just arrived at michael's and the store is actually seems to be pretty quiet so i'm definitely going to go in there the reason why i want to go to michael's is because i have to buy a couple products for my sister's baby shower and i want to do a diy diaper cake um i bought um the diapers actually at amazon and i created the cake already which i have at home i'll show you guys when i get home how it looks like but i want to decorate it so i figure i go to michael's and pick up some like art artsy crafty items also some flowers just to decorate the cake as well and i'm super excited because this is actually her first baby so i'm happy i'm also going to do some centerpieces for all the other tables but I'm probably going to end up doing that next time and I'll show you guys and give you an update on that. But I'll show you guys a cake when I get home and how I do it and how I put, put it together. But anyways, enough of me talking because I talk so much. Okay, so these are the ribbons, you guys. I'm looking for one that I can wrap around the diaper cake. Look at this. This is very pretty. It says it's a girl, which I think I'm going to get that one. Or maybe this one. This is pretty. Let's see. Um... I love to have gold ribbons as well. Rose gold, that's really pretty right there. Look at that, it's really pretty. Hmm, all right. I'm gonna look through here and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, here are some stickers that I found here at Michael's. I found these which look like llamas. As you guys can see. I don't find anything else. I'll show you guys. It's pretty much all I got. I'll show you guys in a minute what I did get. All right, so I'm back at home, and this is the diaper cake. Um, I used these diapers from Amazon called Earth's Best Premium Earth Friendly Diapers. 144 diapers, and I think it was about $40, but I think they also have a coupon you can use, and you can get some um, percentage off, so it's not bad. But um, I also got some ribbons which I've had since last year for Christmas. Her theme is llama theme. So I also bought these stickers that I can use to put around the whole diaper. Which is cute. She can easily remove them from the, from the ribbon as well if she needs to. Um, I also got some extra, I don't know what, these roses as well which were a dollar each. And you get two in each package. So I got these colors, I also got a pink one as well, and some ribbons, extra ribbons, um, these white ribbons as well, which I'm going to put on top of this other ribbon here, and I also got a pink one, so each of them is going to go in each of them, and a pink ribbon, which I'm going to tie into a bow, um, and I also bought this but i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with it. i might put it maybe on the side i don't know i still have to see what i'm going to do with this and what else oh and the hand sanitizer I definitely need a hand sanitizer um just because i am going to be touching it so i want to make sure my hands are nice and clean and i got this from michael's it was pretty expensive it was like 3 and 99 i also got this glue gun from michael's and if you're wondering how i tie the diapers i use this what's it called string that i got from the markets i believe yeah and i'm gonna get to it so i'll show you guys um the end result
All right, you guys, so this is the diaper cake um, that I pretty much done with. I don't think I need anything else or I'm gonna do anything else or add any other stuff to it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I did wanna show you guys how I ended up going with these colors. I bought this llama online at Amazon because I wanted to put it on top of the cake. And I went with these colors because also my sister's theme is like mostly pastel colors. So I incorporated that throughout the cake and I think I think it turned out pretty good. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you think and your thoughts. I also decorated the llama a little bit. I put her little rose right at her head because she was looking a little bit plain to be quite honest and we don't like a plain girl. So I added a bow all around her neck. Um, it just made her look a little bit more girly, I feel, because she is having a girl, my sister, so definitely DIY it for yourself if you can, because it's definitely so much fun creating, creating it yourself, and it's just more thoughtful, I feel, so I, I love it. Now I'm going to get myself actually something to eat because I'm super, super hungry, and it's pretty, oh, and that is the ladder that I was talking to you guys on my last video. I think when I took you guys to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I showed you guys that I have something like this in my living room. What are you doing? You waiting for me? Are you hungry? All right, I gotta feed him, but first and foremost, I gotta feed myself. So um, I'm done with the cake now, so I'm just gonna eat something really quickly. OMG, this is like one of the best soups. I don't know if you guys have ever tried pho, but it's so good so good so anyways that is for today's video i am going to finish up and eat this whole entire soup because i'm super hungry and i'll see you guys on the next one i'll see you guys